Town police are investigating tonight after two gas stations were robbed just hours apart. Investigators say the robbers may be linked. The robber at each shell station was wearing a similar disguise. Here's a look at the man involved in the second robbery. He has on camouflage shorts with a jacket pulled up over his head. As WKYT's Jordan Valines tells us in our top story at five, police say this is the time of year when they see a spike in robberies. Christmas is just around the corner, and because of that, Georgetown police say robberies are on the rise. Two of the most recent happening this past weekend at Shell gas stations here in Georgetown. While the season of giving is upon us, so too is the season. It's the holiday season, so they're doing what they can to get money. Of stealing. This is probably the first actual robbery robbery that we've had uh, for, you know, at this time of the year that we've had to kind of kick that off and start. With. The holiday crime wave kicked off early Sunday morning in Georgetown. The first robbery happening at the Shell Station on East Main Street, where a man wearing a large jacket and bandana over his face implied he had a weapon and got away with cash. People should go out and get a job instead of have to rob a Shell Station. And it's a growing problem I've seen around here. Two hours later, a robbery with almost identical circumstances was reported at the Shell on Mary Lynn Drive. Different clothing and each robbery, but very similar motive. So, I mean, it's either the same person or maybe two people working together. A witness to the second robbery told police that the suspect got away in a newer model minivan, dark gray color, either a Chrysler or a Dodge. In Georgetown, Jordan Valines, WKYT. The robbers described as a white man with a medium build standing about five foot eight.